watch movies and instant competition number eight i want everyone being one lemon because i want you to light a bulb tomorrow by using by creating a series circuit you can also light up a bulb by creating parallel circuit as well now we have been talking about electric field magnetic field em waves and em waves connection with the light for last few weeks right and tomorrow you will see the result and that is the light and um, we have been uh, uh, lighting up by using uh, voltage to move charges and moving charges create current and moving and current uh, we convert that electric energy to heat energy to uh, uh, to glow the filament and which we human perceive as light right now let's see whether we can create the light using that concept. The concept came from who? Alessandro Volta. Now the lemon is a great source of electrolyte. So I'm gonna use three lemons. That means I have three battery. Now, uh, I'm gonna create three battery. I don't have three battery. I have the source of electrolyte. Now I know, I need few things. I need uh, copper and zinc, right? The, this is the copper and this is the zinc. The zinc has less demand for electrons. Copper has more demand for electrons because zinc has less electro um, electronegativity. Copper has more electronegativity. So I'm gonna insert a copper on one end of the lemons and I'm gonna insert a zinc on the other side of the lemon. So what happened? The zinc dissolved with the electrolyte and oxidized. How, how is that? Zinc lose electrons. It can, only can lose electrons if you allow it to lose electrons. So you have to create terminals between uh, zinc to copper, right? Now, if you create the terminal, all the all the electrons, some of the electrons are going to move to copper, making it positive terminal, making it negative terminal. And we can uh, measure the voltage, positive terminal to negative terminal. So I have now two terminal left. I have a negative terminal and positive terminal, and I'm gonna see how much current it read, how much voltage it reads. Well, okay, so it should read some voltage. All right, it reads how much voltage? 2.87 voltage. Now it started reading voltage, 2.87, and I have to light up the LED bulb. LED needs only 1.5 voltage. So I'm going to be the LED. Uh, so where is the LED? So here's the LED. I have the LED. I'm going to light up the LED bulb. Okay. So I need two alligator clip. One is just from here. Okay. One is just from this positive terminal, and this positive terminal goes to the long leg. Okay. It's going to go to the long leg. And this negative terminal goes to the shorter leg. Goes to the shorter leg. And hopefully this will light up a bulb, light up this bulb. And it does. So if I turn off all the light from this room, you'll see, you'll see the light, right? I'm gonna hold it over here. I'm gonna turn off, turn off all the light. So hopefully this is visible now, right? This is now visible. So now we know how that work right we put the current in the wire right how did you put the current in the wire we put the current in the wire by using the voltage voltage kicks the charges moving charges is what we call current and current is one form of energy that converts to other form of energy right so the current energy converts to heat energy heat energy uh, Heat up the filament, and that is uh, that is that is we uh, that is the brightness we perceive as light. Okay, so this is one way. The other way is you have a coil, right? And you take a magnet and you move in and out, and you create EMF, which is induced uh, induced voltage. That induced voltage creates the induced current, and that is defined by Faraday's law of induction with the Lenz law, which is negative n flux over delta t and that is what that is the 
oscillation, that is the up and down movement of electric field and in and out movement of magnetic field at the moon with 1 over square root of epsilon times mu, which is 3 times 10 raised weight, can be converted to, of course, the heat energy can uh, glow the filament of a light and that increase the brightness if you increase the heat and uh, that is what we perceive that as light. So two way we can create light. One is Alessandro Volta 1800 by taking the charges, charges moving, create current in the wire that current convert to uh, heat energy. We perceive that as light. The other way is Faraday 1832. Uh, of course, using the advantage of the discovery by Hans Oersted, uh, magnetic field, understanding of magnetic field was the key of the EMF, induced current and induced voltage. Now, today we try to understand the nature, the how nature created light. We have been trying to understand uh, uh, the, how the nature create light because that's how we got inspired and convert that one to, uh, to help us create the battery whose Alessandro Volta did create it 1800. So that's what we try to understood today by looking at the hydrogen and how the mechanics of ionization of hydrogen atom involved with electron jumping down from higher state to lower state emitting light in the form of uh, uh, packet of energy which we call photon perceived at light and looking at EM spectrum, okay, again EM waves, looking at EM spectrum uh, and that we human perceive as light and light comes at different color, visible and invisible. More frequency means uh, more energy, less frequency means less energy and the light, uh, the velocity of light at 1 over the square root of mu and uh, epsilon, which has another equation, velocity is number times uh, times frequency, which is velocity is distance over time, d as lambda, which we measure in meter, and frequency, which is 1 over t, which is we measure is 1 over second, or hertz. So velocity is number times frequency, which is always constant in the vacuum 3 times 10 is weight. For example, gamma ray, which has the maximum energy, because it has the highest frequency, 10 to 21 hours. It has a minimum energy. Energy. Uh, it has a. It has a minimum uh, uh, maximum energy, but uh, but minimum wavelength. The wavelength is 10 to negative negative 13. So negative 13, positive 21 is due to 10 to 8. And 10 to 8, you cannot change this. So from uh, from invisible, from the gamma ray to X ray to I don't know uh, to um, something called ultraviolet to visible light. Visible light always tends to 14 hertz. Uh, the infrared to uh, microwave to radio wave to long radio wave. So long radio wave is uh, the, the lambda is 10 raised to 4. So what is frequency? 10 raised to 4 because lambda times frequency has to be 10 raised to 8 of course in the vacuum. So this is what uh, we, uh, we did uh, last few days, we try to put them together by something called electromagnetic waves. And the speed of electromagnetic waves is C, which is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to 8. So good luck with your and competition tomorrow. See you tomorrow.